Back to follow-up segment tonight. New Wall Street Journal poll says there is a big political change going on in America right now. 35% of Americans see the Democratic Party favorably. 28% say they like the Republican Party. But a whopping 41% now say they support the Tea Party, which is stunning when you think about it. So, will the Tea Party become America's third political party? Joining us from Washington, Ned Ryan, president of American Majority, an organization that trains Tea Party politicians. And here in the studio, Fox News analyst Mike Gallagher, a radio talk show host. Now, you're a Republican, right? Yes, sir, I am. Okay. So, the Tea Party is now, I think, threatening the Republican Party. Just, this is almost the exact opposite of what we just talked about, where the far left is threatening the Democratic Party. Now, the Tea Party is threatening the Republican Party. I'd happily traded my Republican card for a Tea Party card if there was such a thing. Really? If, so, if the Tea Party organizes for a two 12 presidential run, say they nominate Sarah Palin, somebody like that, you bail. All over it. I, I would become the biggest cheerleader. Millions of Americans would too. Bill, it's the perfect storm. Now's the time. I mean, this far outweighs the revolutionary aspect, supposedly, of, of even Ron Paul or before that. Okay, but uh, let's, uh, um, let's be realistic. Ross Perot. Very, very hard to develop because of uh, rules, voting rules, money, and everything else, a viable third party. But you, Mike Gallagher, been a Republican, you know, okay, are willing to throw the Republican Party under the bus. Why? What's wrong with the GOP? There's a lot wrong with the GOP. The GOP isn't acting like the GOP anymore. The, the, and the Republican leadership, many, of, many men and women I admire, are, are acting like we have to go to the middle. We have to go to the... the to, we have so to they're too the wimpy? Well, yeah, but they're afraid. They're afraid to, to play ball the way the left plays ball. I mean, these guys play hardball. You know what the radical left is like. And, and even, even moderate Republicans are afraid to roll up their sleeves. The Tea Party spirit, and I was all over the country. I spoke at rallies in Dallas in South Carolina and Los Angeles. The, the movement is, is passionate, it's okay. energized, and it's, and it's significant. Bill. Mr. Ryan, what is, what is the key to somebody watching now? We're in, we're in about 90 countries all over the world. So, so somebody watching us now in, say, Africa, uh, and they don't understand what the Tea Party is all about. Give me, give me a, one or two sentences that sum it up. Uh, it's, it's a group of very concerned uh, and growing American citizens who are, are deeply concerned about the fiscal issues that we're confronting, the idea and the role of government and, and, and the role it should play in people's lives. Uh, and, so smaller and government, political less, leadership. Exactly. Smaller government, less government spending, less intrusion at the federal level, more, exactly. more power locally. Um, social issues, social issues? What, what is that? You know, here's, here's the thing. I, I would say a lot of them are socially conservative. But the issues that are driving them are the ideas of limited government fiscal responsibility. Right. And if I could go back a little bit to, to what Mike was saying earlier, you know, I, I think the thing that we're confronting, and, and again, this is a, a very positive poll, I think, to show. Oh, absolutely. It's a stunning poll. 41% of uh, Americans like the Tea Party? Exactly. But one of the things that I'm trying to do is communicate to those that are involved in, in, t in, in the trainings that American Majority does. We did about 154 this year in 26 different states is that here's the political re reality you're confronted with, history and very restrictive state laws. Now, you're confronted with a system that maybe isn't perfect. How are you going to enact well, you got look. If you want a viable third party, you got to break it down. I mean, I, I, you just got to well, kick the door in, like Perot did and other people. And did. you've got to have candidates who are. But, but here's the too. thing. Uh, well, here's the thing. The sure, she is. Um, she? America, the American political system is a two-party system. Uh, I don't believe that there can be three major parties. One. You don't the believe there can be. Parties. You don't believe there can no, be. No, I don't. So you you want I the Tea Party to take thing. over the Republican Party? Why not? I don't, uh, I don't know. Thing. I don't care. Yeah, but I just want to know what your strategy party, is. But here's the thing. A party is merely a vehicle by which people achieve political ends. It's just a name. Okay, that's that's fine. Fine. So guys, I don't, I don't know why the, but Ned, I don't know why the Tea Party can't marry the Republican Party. I don't know why there can't be emerging because a lot of the solid exactly. Republican no, ideals no. are being lost and that's why the Tea Party So, so you, you want, you both want, it's easier obviously, that the Tea Party would overwhelm the moderate um, wing of the, the, the Republican the Party and, and, and they would all come over to the Tea Party. That's then. a tough word. I don't want overwhelm. I mean, be welcomed. <laughs> They'll be ingratiate well, themselves. Uh, Nothing yeah. wrong with that. That's a good I, thing. I would, say, I, would say, I would say, Bill, infuse the party with those principles that have made us a great nation. Infuse. Uh, you know, it used to be the Republican Party actually believed in those principles. Okay, but if, there is a, if there's a primary control. that runs Romney against Palin or something like that, Oof. then you might have. You might have what you want. 
because if Palin would win the primary, then she would take this, the, the Tea Party philosophy, obviously put it in a platform. So that's interesting. So rather than go to a but, third but, party but, and all of that horror, right. you want to basically overthrow the moderates, bring in the Tea Party philosophy, and let that rule the GOP. It's very interesting because well, that's really what's what going to happen on the other side, too. It is. That's what they're doing on the left. Yeah, that's what well, they're doing on really the left. Really what I want to see. Go ahead. What I want Real to quick. see, Bill, is a, is a return to those principles that have made us great. Okay. You bet. And okay. you can call those Republican values. You can call them Tea Party. And that's the fine. ideas of limited government, fiscal responsibility. But what's fascinating about nation. this discussion is the far left wants to take over the Democratic Party, and the Tea Party's people want to take over the Republican. It's time for Jeff? torches and pitchforks. Thanks very much. <laughs> Play more ahead as a fact.